Why do all survivalists, preppers, most outdoorsmen on YouTube turn political? That is the topic today, grunts. These are some of the questions I get, even on some of my posts and shorts, just sharing some facts and current events with you guys. So I do not plan to turn this channel into what some of the more popular YouTubers are doing. They sit in their little prepper basements and tell you that you're all gonna die and all the silly stuff you gotta do and then plenty of product links. But I do get into the political realm every now and then. And so this seems to bother some of the knuckleheads out there. If this is how you're feeling, let me ask you a question. Does the civil unrest we've dealt with for the last two and a half, three years, does that have nothing to do with politics? The current inflation that everybody is suffering from, is that not political? The current food shortages and other supply chain issues we're having, does that have nothing to do with politics? How about the insane exponential increase in violent crime in areas where they are trying to ban guns? Now, I know my European friends, you guys just do not understand what's happening over here. So that's why you don't understand guns. But let me tell you guys this. We have 26 constitutional carry states right now. That means you can carry a gun on your hip, hidden under your shirt, shown. You can sling an AR-15 on your back or on your chest and just walk around. And then besides where it's already banned, like post offices and banks, you can go like that freely. So if you just cannot understand the gun problem in America, go look up where guns are totally banned and where people cannot constitutionally carry. And then you come back to me with the statistics and you show me where the 26 constitutional carry states are the problem. I dare you. But again, to my European friends that just cannot understand anything that's going on outside their little 300 person villages, what about the unrest, the riots, and the protests that are happening now in the Netherlands? Did you not hear about those? Probably because all of your news is left. That's political. There's a reason they don't want you to know that almost all of the Dutch farmers are out there in the streets fighting. So, if you really want to sit there and talk about survival and prepping and even just going out in the woods and getting along, if you want to 100% disconnect that from everything political, you're just simply living with your head in the sand. Politics influence your life. I don't care where you live or who you think you are, politics play a major role. And given the current situation we are in, especially in America, which then affects the rest of the world, it goes without saying you need to be paying attention to what's going on, especially when we are talking about survival and prepping. You think you're going to survive with your head in the sand, avoiding all politics, sitting around watching woke ass Hollywood and other woke TV, just pretending that you're just gonna go in the woods camping and be okay when shit hits the fan? I want you to look up basically any and all history from not even that long ago. A lot of people think in terms of World War II, the Holocaust in Germany and what the communists did but you don't even have to go that far back. There are countries absolutely falling apart right now. Western countries are next, okay? So keep your head in the sand, keep getting butt hurt because guys that don't watch the woke shit, we're actually paying attention, we're trying to warn you guys. And more importantly, we're actually trying to give you guys tips to navigate life and all this political nonsense. Just think about that. You think none of this is political? you will probably end up being one of those in a death camp, a gulag, or with your head face down, dead in a trench somewhere because you just wanted to be nice and get along and avoid politics. The negative effects of those bad policies will affect you one day. So it's your choice if you want to pay attention right now and start to make better decisions, especially when we were talking about electing officials who are supposed to represent the people. Give me your butt hurt comments down below and let me know how miserable I am for pointing this out to you and let me know how you are going to survive when things get really nasty 
by keeping your head in the sand. We'd all love to hear your strategy, but more importantly, I would love to hear historical cases where hiding from politics and their effects actually helped people survive.